Uh, so here's the deal. First, you'll notice there's steps here. There's one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna follow that at first, but then uh, we're just kind of gonna. You're gonna hopefully get the hang of this. Now, the first step is to figure out valence electrons. By this point in time in the year, I hope that this is not a problem. Truthfully, I hope you can find valence electrons at this point in time. Because if you look at something like sulfur, you find it on the periodic table. You count over one, two, three, four, five, six. It's got six valence electrons. So you're just going to write a little six down there. Now, you're going to add that to oxygen. If you look at oxygen, it's also got six valence electrons. How many oxygens do you have, though? Three. So you got to multiply it by three. Now, the last thing you've got to do to Can find valence... What? No. No, it doesn't. Last thing you got to do is negative two here. What does that mean for electrons? You got to add two. Good, we're getting good at that. What? Have you ever finished the three plus demo lab? No, not yet. We will. Have you ever to do it? Yes. Now, we've got, what's this add up to? Uh, 26? Yeah. All right. So, next step, you've got sulfur. Now, your fig, your er, tool what? The plus two comes from the negative two ion. So if it's negative two, it means it's got two more electrons. Now, you're gonna draw out your skeleton structure here. That is step two. Draw the skeleton structure. Now, if you do that, all right, the general idea is that you can see now, sulfur's gonna be in the middle. It's the first element, it's only got one, so you put it in the middle. Now, the next step is basically to say, well, how many electrons did we just add to that? Six. You sure? Oh. How many electrons does each line have? Six. So each line has two, so yeah, we added six. So you're going to subtract six from our total. What's that leave us with? 20. Leaves us with 20 electrons. Now, the next thing it says to do, add electrons to everything except the central atom. How many electrons does everything want? Eight. Eight. Wants eight. Oh. So, the way it's going to work, you're going to add them in pairs. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six. That oxygen is now filled. So then you're going to keep going. How's it filled? The line's worth two. Yeah. So, well, I know. So how many did I just add here? I just went two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So subtract. 18 now. I just put in 18 dots. So we're going to subtract the 18 that I just put in, and we've got two electrons left. Because that was from the each line counting. If I do it in different order, does it really make a difference? No, it makes no difference. It doesn't matter. First I put them on, and then I put them Does it matter what oxygen Okay. If this does two Well, now we're not done yet. I'm not done. Now, the final step here. Oxygen has... Each oxygen has how many electrons? They all got eight. You can see it. You count it up. Two, four, six, eight. They're good. Does, car or does sulfur have eight? No. Sulfur only has six. And look, we've got two electrons left, so just put two dots there. And now everything has eight electrons. And that's how you're going to solve these puzzles. You're just going to get it to where all of them have eight using the electrons given. All right. So if you look at oxygen now, all right, oxygen has how many valence electrons? Four. Not four, six. You've got two of them, so you're going to have 12 total. Now, is there a true central atom here? Not really. I mean, you're just going to have O connected to O. So n neither one of them is really central. How many electrons did I just put in there? Two. Two? So you're going to subtract two. So you've got 10 left. Now at this point in time, it does not matter where you put the electrons, but you gotta put them in. So you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do they have to be, do they have to be even? Like could it be, could it be like the ones on the left and then one, two, and then one, one? Like five, five. They have to go in pairs. They have to go in pairs? Yes. So now here's the thing. The left oxygen has eight. The right oxygen only has six. So you're not good. But you don't have any more electrons to add. So the next step is that we have to share more electrons between the two elements. 
So this oxygen has eight. If it were to contribute two more of its electrons to the middle, it would still have eight. But now the other oxygen would also. So it's going to form a double bond. Well, then it would only. This one would only have seven. That one would have seven. It's yeah. not being equal. They all have to have eight. All right. Wait, so it has to be a double bond if it's like this. Yes. So if you are struggling to figure out how to to get eight around everything and you have no idea, it's like you're just stuck because you have no more electrons to add, you've got to make a double bond. Now, it could have been this electron pair, it could have been this electron pair, it doesn't make any difference which one you pick it from, all right? It doesn't matter truly for right now where you're writing the electrons out, as long as you're putting them in pairs on one side. So this is our final formula because now each oxygen has 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. Because I the line I drew, the dash. So you're saying I got rid of those two? Well now, one, two, three, four. So four pairs. All right, now, carbon has four valence electrons. Hydrogen has one, but you've got four of them, right? So you're just going to go... Four plus, you know, four basically, eight. Now, to do this, you just are going to draw your structure out. I hope that you can see that carbon is in the middle here because you've got four hydrogens and it will never be a central atom because it, it just can't be because it only wants two electrons. Now, how many electrons did I just put in? I put in two, four, six, eight. Does carbon have eight electrons around it? It does. Does every hydrogen have two? It does. So you're done. All right, now you've got cyanide. It's a polyatomic ion. It's negative one charge. So you've got to figure out valence. Carbon's four. Nitrogen is five. And then that negative one means you have what? One more electron. Yeah, Isaiah. Oh, never mind. Okay. All right. So, you've got 10 total electrons. Now, with these 10 electrons, you've got to draw out your structure. Is there a central atom? Not really. I mean, it's, when you've only got two, you, there's no real central atom. Valence. It's a valence law. It's the valence electrons for nitrogen. Oh, it is? Yeah. How do you know it is? Look on your periodic table like we've been doing. Oh, yeah. A tool of what? I wouldn't ask you on that one because there there is no specific no there isn't one yeah Isaiah what Isaiah Davis speaking um so up top on the one that you did before you multiplied six and two yeah because there was a subscript so if there was like two nitrogens we'd multiply five by two oh okay. all right now we've got this you've got carb or uh, carbon and nitrogen we've got ten electrons to put in. Uh, we just put two in though, right, with this bond? So let's subtract two, we're left with eight. Let's put eight electrons. We'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, so you're, are you supposed to, why, why did you put it in hydrogen? It doesn't make any difference. You could, you just put eight electrons and it does not matter where you but put them. you just them. like have to fill the first one? Yeah, because it doesn't really make a difference. I just do that. You're going to get the same answer no matter where you put them to start with. This is just where you feel like doing it. Now. Obviously, does carbon have eight electrons? No. It only has four. It does not have eight. Nitrogen <laughs> has eight. Okay, so we have to fix this. So let's share two electrons from nitrogen. So that involves that. Involves that. Does carbon have eight electrons yet? No. It only has six, so let's share another two now. Now it has eight. They both have eight. Triple bond? Triple bond. Will there now, be a quadruple bond? No, there will not be a quadruple bond in anything we ever do. Okay, they have both have eight because each line represents two, and that line counts for both. So you see how you got six there and then two? Eight. Then six and two? Okay, uh, value and usage. Initially? 
because I drew that initial bond, the initial skeleton line. It each line counts for two. All right. You. Um. How'd you get five? You look up nitrogen on the periodic table. One, two, three, four, five. Fifth column. Five valence. Remember? Yes. Is that seriously how you get it? That yeah. one test, I did not know what I was doing. Oh, there you go. Now, this is when you're going to do a triple bond, okay? These are rarer. They're not very common, but when you need them, this is how you're going to be. All right, let's do carbonate. Last one. Uh, basically, you got to figure out your valence. You've got four. Uh, you've got six oxygen or six valence for oxygen, and you've got three of them. Again, you look these up on your periodic table. Last thing, negative two. That means you've got to add two more electrons. That should come out to be 24. Now, next step, put carbon right in the middle. And I will just tell you, it doesn't make any difference if you put the O here or up here. It doesn't matter, all right? It's up to you. For right now, the structure doesn't really change. Now, we just put in one, two, three bonds, each worth two electrons. So we put in six. We got 18 left. Now, you'll notice each oxygen has six spots, so let's fill them in. So I just put in 18 electrons. We're left with zero. However, carbon is not filled. So you have to form the double bond that we've been talking about. Now, it does not matter, and this part hopefully won't confuse you. It does not matter if you take it this oxygen pair, that electron, those, those, this one, this one. It doesn't make any difference. It's up to you. You take whichever one you want. I'm just going to use this one because it's right there. So our formula will be yes. all right. It, again, it, it does not matter. The reason being, the way this works, the way this uh, sort of whole deal works out is that right now, oxygen has eight, eight, eight. Carbon has eight. It's happy. And you're saying, well, how do I know to put the bond here instead of down here or over here? Well, in reality, the way it works, one-third of all the compounds, one-third of all carbonates in the world will be this. One-third of all of them will be, will be that, okay? Oh, so it doesn't matter? No, no, and just pretend the dots are there. No, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't make a difference. And then one-third of them will all be... And then to the left is to that. Yeah. Those are called resonance structures, just so you know for the future. But the point is, it doesn't make a difference which one you choose right now. Okay? You can do any of those, as long as you have the dots in.